This is a place you simply must visit. Place you simply must visit. It's the game world in Ghost Recon Wildlands. In this video, I'm going to tell you what's so great about this game world. Let's review the open world in this game. I'm going to do this by giving grades for five aspects. The first one is freedom. Can we go anywhere in this world and can we also walk into houses? I'm going to give a grade for content and detail. Is the game world empty or is it crammed with a lot of stuff? Is there much to see? I'm going to rate the graphics. How beautiful are these graphics? I'm going to give a score for the atmosphere and also for the views, the vistas. Ultimately, I give a final score, the overall score. Before we start, I have to tell you this, I'm going to speak in very simple language because, well, my English, uh, my English isn't that great. I made a song about that, you can find it somewhere on this crazy so channel. Bad. Okay, let's begin. Let's start with freedom. Can we go anywhere in this game? I'll get straight to the point. Yes, we can. Yeah. Even after the first mission, you can go anywhere. You can walk to every place you see. You can use fast travel. You can fly and land and then walk everywhere. You can drive and even take a boat. The map is very large and it's full of towns and cities. I have rarely seen so many villages in one map. Let's see if you can also enter these houses in these villages. Yes, that's possible. Yes. You can even go upstairs. You can't enter all houses, unfortunately. Some doors are closed. Mm. I think you can enter about one in three houses. You can also enter buildings and then go up and look around. The mafia bosses in the game have some bigger houses that look more expensive. Bunch of show-offs. You can enter these houses as well, but then you'll be trespassing. You'll be in danger, because they will be looking for you. Yes, you can enter buildings anywhere and also climb anywhere. You have complete freedom. And again, there are so many villages, it takes days to explore all these villages. And when you fly at night, you can see the large amount of these villages by the lights they emit. It's unbelievable. The world doesn't only consist of villages, there are also snow covered areas, vast forests with uh, rivers, tropical rainforests, uh, deserts and high mountains with amazing views. More about those views later. Let's give a rating for freedom. I give a 9.5 because you can yeah. go yeah. anywhere and yeah. enter yeah. almost yeah. any building. So a 9.5, yeah. it's almost a 10. It's amazing. The next topic is content and detail. Is it an empty world or is there lots to see? There are some empty areas in the map, but what do you expect when the map is this big? I mean, this map is bigger than the map in GTA 5 or any Far Cry game. So it's large. The biggest empty space is a large sandy desert with not much to see and there are some large forests with only trees. But otherwise, there are a lot of interesting places and like you already know, a lot of villages. And in these villages and towns, there are many people and they do all kinds of things. <laughs> Some are selling things at a market, others are busy with money, others are at work and then have a drink at the bar. Some are having a nice meal or sitting relaxed on a bench outside. Yes, sit on a bench and postpone training again, huh? A lot of NPCs in Wildlands are busy selling stuff. Let's take a look at what people collect, buy or sell in their villages. Wow, so many things. Ooh. Getting tired of it. Oh, uh, uh, are those dead dogs? I hope not. No. Yeah, there's a lot to do and a lot to see, even a statue. And also a lot to hear, because people are shouting. There's a lot of writing on the walls too, and you keep seeing new things on the walls. There are oh, quite wow. a few murals, so much to see on every building, so much to see in this whole game world. I give it an 8.0, and look at this wall, very beautiful. And speaking of beautiful, how are the graphics? I don't use any mods here and therefore I don't use a mod for ray tracing, but it still looks quite nice. Look at the floor here, someone has scrubbed the floor well. And here's another nice clean floor, look at the reflection. And what are the reflections on the streets like when it rains? 
this looks quite nice. <laughs> and when the sun starts shining, you'll see all the streets become dry again. Look at these tiles and the puddles. I once said in another review that beautiful graphics leave me speechless and now this is happening again. Look at this, you just want to play basketball here, even though it's raining, just because it looks so beautiful. In such a beautiful world, I would also be outside when it rains. What is it? It's beautiful. What's also beautiful is the sun rising or setting, and the sunlight reflecting in the windows. And also the water looks pretty good in this game, and the vegetation in the jungle is very detailed. Too bad it's full of enemies. Yes, it's all beautiful. It's time to rate the graphics. Even though it looks very beautiful, I give it a 7.0 because, well, we have seen better graphics in the game, but also certainly worse. We can't expect a map this big to have perfect graphics. The game file would be too big. Okay, and now it's time for the atmosphere in this game world. Of course, you feel the atmosphere of a South American country in this game. As soon as you walk into a village, you already feel it. There are rural villages, so you see chickens and cows. And people repairing their tractors. Yeah, you're doing a good job here. In addition to these villages, there are also port villages. And all these villagers of all these villages can go to a bar and take a drink. They play some atmospheric music there. And you can of course also sit outside and have a drink there, but yeah, there's no music there. If you really want to listen to good music, you have to get in a car. And cars can be found everywhere in wildlands, just like motorcycles, boats, planes and helicopters. Let's listen to this song. And enjoy the view. The music is still playing, <clears throat> so don't worry. No, okay. Oh, mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Wow. Beautiful view. And that's what we're here for. No. Beautiful car. No, not anymore. The atmosphere is wonderful during the day, with the sun and the birds chirping. But of course, it's also atmospheric at night, both in nature and in the villages. And it's nice and quiet at night because people are just sleeping. Let's be quiet, otherwise we will wake them up. Let's get out of here. Look, there was a party here too. The radio is still on. They seem to find it quite normal here that the radio is still playing loudly at night. Too bad, because, well, you can't hear the pleasant crickets that way. Just turn off that radio and listen to this. If this isn't atmospheric, then I don't know what is. Let's give it a rating. I give an 8.5 for the atmosphere. And what a few, huh? Look at all those lights in those villages. Yes, you can really go there. Speaking of views, that's the last topic. The vistas. There are a lot of mountains in this game, so there are also a lot of places where you can see very far. Like here. If you look closely, you will see a town below. And this is what the town looks like at night. Like I already told you, especially at night, you can see how big this map is and how many villages there are. I think it's incredible. But the views are also impressive during the day, and you can go higher and higher in the mountains until you are walking in the snow. Let's go to the highest peak on this mountain. I have the feeling that this is the highest mountain on the map. If you look around, you almost can see the entire game world. Of course, you always have a beautiful view in an airplane or in a helicopter. Okay, it's time to rate the Fistus and the views. I give a 9.0. Yes, very high, but well, there are many beautiful places with views in this game, so a 9.
Now it's time to give an overall score. I have made several open world reviews and games received a final score of 6.7, a 7.2, even a 5.4. The highest score was for Dying Light 2, it got an 8.3. Assassin's Creed Valhalla got an 8.0. But this one right here gets an, I calculate the whole thing, 8.4 wow. for Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yes, the highest score so far. Okay, that's it. It's time to move on to the next open world game. This is Obix the Map. Thanks for watching and goodbye.